Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Victor Lee aka Rice Man and today we have the smartest person alive. No, actually no, I forgot. He's not the smartest person alive. He's the person with the highest IQ. Uh, he's sitting here in front of me. Andrew Hersey, okay? Your IQ is 249. That's good for the highest ever in the 200 year history of IQ tests. How do you, how do you manage to do that? Um. Well, that's a. Uh, I feel like the smarter you get, mm -hmm. the um, the more complicated it is to answer a simple question like that. You understand? Now we heard that you have a brother. Okay, you have a brother. He is um, from my sources. They're telling me that he's the sixty-eighth dumbest person alive. How do you explain that? Uh, I mean. I'm ashamed to say it, but he is on that list. Uh, there's nothing I could really do about it. I mean, I had to grow up with that guy. I guess uh, looking at him as we aged, as we, you know, throughout our childhood, it really motivated me to study hard, you know? 68, well, what was his IQ? I don't even, I don't remember. I think his IQ was probably less than five or something. Less than five, yeah. yeah. And your, your score was, uh, I think, 274. That's 20 points higher than the second place. I don't even remember her name, but... What do you actually do? I mean, you have a really high IQ, but what do you actually do in your spare time? Um, because my IQ is so high, people just want to interview me all day. So, mainly I just uh, answer questions about my IQ and get a hefty um, profit from that. So you're a motivational speaker. You motivate people uh, how to be smarter in life, right? Uh, you could say that. Mm -hmm. Motivate, um, inspire, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you consider yourself a successful person? Uh, eh. That's a no, no right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's, that's a hard question. Mm -hmm. Define success. I think you might have the answer to that because you have <laughs> such a high IQ. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm successful. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you for making me feel really bad. But uh, mm. how, how so? Well, well, people interview all day. I only get to interview other people. No one is interested in who, who I am. <laughs> right? I wish yeah. I was the one being interviewed. <laughs> That's. Mm. Let me ask you this, high IQ is, is that equivalent to um, a ladies man? I mean, how many, how many uh, girls do you get by telling them uh, IQ scores? How many, how many uh, numbers do you get from that? Um, many females phone number. I do, yeah. Sometimes, you, you know, just, they throw their phone numbers at me, I have to take them. But I'm not sure if it necessarily equates to swag. Mm -hmm. uh, I think just because I have such a high Q, people want to get to know me, whereas mm -hmm. swag is swag. And mm -hmm. that's just something I don't have. Mm -hmm. I think, at least. Now, your mother said that um, apparently you have uh, 100 different females' phone number, not on your iPod or I, uh, your phone, but on your mind, that you can remember 100 different <laughs> phone numbers right after they tell you. Isn't that an awesome superpower to have? You it's remember? true. Mm -hmm. I, I do have that uh, superpower. Mm -hmm. um, the one downside to that is when I actually call them, mm -hmm. uh, you know, conversing with them is more difficult than memorizing numbers, you know? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I can memorize numbers, equations, formulas, but put me on a line with a girl, mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. Okay, mm -hmm. am I right? Is it because you're so smart, you're, in, you're out of touch with reality? Is that, is that um, what you're trying to say? That's my theory, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my, even, even just talking to you right now, mm -hmm. I feel like, uh, I don't know. You feel like you're being insulted, right? <laughs> yeah. You feel like I don't have the right to talk to you. Exactly, exactly. So in the future, in terms of a, a woman that you're looking to marry, are you looking for uh, on the list of the 100 smartest person alive for who you want to marry? Or do you think you will marry just a common woman? 
I'm actually, uh, I was thinking about that the other day, mm -hmm. and I think the best way, the best marriage for me mm -hmm. would be uh, to clone myself and somehow replicate a female version of me. Hmm. That, I think, is, wow. that's the solution right there. Asexual production. <laughs> so you're going to figure out how to do that. I do, yeah. It's going to be tricky. It's, it's but working. With this mind right here, I feel like I could, mm -hmm. I could make that happen. Hmm.